Straight all day. Straight You're now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative, which is the go getter energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today's topic is great players get found. I'll get into that in a second. First, let me tell everybody I send out a daily motivation text message, a free text that I send out to everyone who's in my text community every morning, guaranteed to keep you focused, sharp, and on point. If you would like to receive that message, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to get that text message straight from me every day. If you listen to this show, why not get the text? Get that by texting me at my number, which is 305-384-6894. And every morning when I send that out, starting tomorrow morning, you'll be getting that text message. And as an added bonus, unadvertised bonus, you can actually respond to any of the messages that I send and you will actually get a response back from me because I do actually go through those texts and respond to my messages. And I take time to respond to my messages every day. So text me at that number. It is listed down below in the show notes, by the way. Now the topic today, great players get found. The idea for this masterclass really came from my background in the sports world. And it applies to any performer out there who has game and you are wondering where all the attention, the fame and everything else that comes with your level of production and performance. You're wondering where those results are going to come. Where are they coming from? When are they going to come? Why are they taking so long to get to you? Because you feel like you're performing, but for whatever reason, you're not getting the recognition that you want to be getting. And we're going to get to that. Why that's or what you can do. In other words, that's a better way of saying it. What you can do to make sure that you get yourself found if you are indeed as great of a player as you believe yourself to be. Let's get into it. Point number one. Topic again today is great players get found. When you have game, there are plenty of people out there whose very job it is to know that you exist. It is their job to know that you're out there when you have game. All right, there are people whose very job is to scour the landscape, look all over the map, and find people like you who have the kind of game that you're putting out into the world. Your job, then, is to continue performing and putting that good game out there. So if they're out there looking for you, you're out there putting your game out there, and every time you put your game out there, what are you doing? You're telling the universe, hey, I have this to offer, I have this value, uh, somebody needs to notice this, somebody needs to see this, somebody needs to you know, recognize me. All right, their job... Once they once you're out there, it's to look for you, observe your game, and then bring you into the fold, wherever that fold happens to be, where you can get seen, heard, and known by more people who need and have, who need and want what you're offering. Now, for some people, this happens relatively fast. For other people, this happens a little bit slower. But the thing is, as long as you have game, you know, as the saying goes, the cream always rises to the top. As long as you have game, eventually you are going to get seen, heard, and known in some way. But understand, I got two more points here, so don't think this is this is not the whole. Uh, point that I'm making here for this master class but you have to first of all have your game and you have to be continually putting it out there this is something that I talk about every day when I open the show the discipline of showing up day after day to do the work this is continually putting your game out there so that the people who need it you are making yourself findable and discoverable to these people doesn't mean they're going to find you today or tomorrow but you got to continually be in a position to be findable and be discoverable but if you're not somewhere where they could possibly find you then they can't you know there's no way that they can ever discover you they can't know that you exist if you're not putting yourself in a position to where they can see that you exist all right this is part of the game and also when i talk about mental toughness continuing to show up and doing the work and putting yourself out there even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved i give you this every single day when we open the show is that you just got to keep putting yourself out there sometimes it's going to feel like a grind sometimes it's going to feel like all right, why am i still doing this sometimes it's going to feel like is this ever going to happen sometimes it's going to feel like well why is he or she or they getting the results but i'm not getting any results yet they're getting found they're getting discovered but i'm not yet for some people, it happens faster. For some people, it happens slower. This is just the way life works. Life is not a fair deal. Life is not an even deal. Just because it happened for them in a week doesn't mean it's going to happen for you the next week. It doesn't work like that. For you, it might take a year. For them, it only took a month. This is how it goes. Current NBA star Ja Morant, who as of this recording is a member of the Memphis Grizzlies, he got discovered. No, he initially got discovered 
there was a basketball tournament happening in, uh, I forget where Ja Morant is from, but there was some basketball tournament taking place and Ja, and this is when he was in high school, he was not participating at, on one of the, the main teams that was playing in the tournament, but some coach from a school, a college, was going to the, he was going to get something to eat or going to get some snacks or something in the facility where the tournament was taking place and he wandered into some side auxiliary gym, it was like a side gym where the games are not happening, and he was just watching some kids play basketball. They were playing like a half court game. And as he's watching the game, he sees this kid that is you no know, wispy little small kid, but this guy was really athletic. You no, know, he could really move. He just liked the way this kid moved. And he looked like he was a talent. Like this guy looks like he can actually kind of play. But he wasn't even playing in the main tournament. And this coach is watching this kid and turns out this kid is John ja Morant. He ends up recruiting this kid getting him a college scholarship where he goes to Murray State, which is where John ja Morant went. It's not a, a big-time college basketball program, but John ja Morant went there. He went went to Murray, played pretty well. A couple of years later, he's in the NBA draft. He was the number two pick in the NBA draft, number two or number three pick in the NBA draft. And now he's one of the brightest young stars in the NBA, and he wasn't even playing in the tournament that this coach was there to watch. The coach just happened to stumble into the gym where he was playing at, and that's where he discovered him. That's how he got noticed. That's how he got to college. Now he's in the NBA. And understand something, folks. You got to remember the five forms of investment. I talked about this in episode 609. Two of those five forms are time and energy. So if you haven't been found yet and you believe you have game, then maybe, just maybe, you need to put more into, you need to put in more time in you know, developing your game and more time into showing your game and more energy into making sure that your game is getting seen by the people who can see it. Now, I have no idea if John Morant did that. I don't know. I don't think he was playing in that little side gym because he was hoping some college coach would find him over there. But because he was outside, metaphorically speaking, he was outside to where he could possibly get found and showing his game again. He, did, he probably didn't even know he was being watched, and he probably didn't even know who that coach was who was watching him. When he stumbled into the gym to watch the little game they were playing in, he got found because he was outside and he was active. So even when things are not popping off for you right now, you feel like you have game, it's your job to keep showing up. And this is the hard part. This is the mental toughness part, and this is where a lot of people fail because they're not getting the results as quickly, and you're looking at the food on other people's plates. You see how fast things happen for them. It's not happening that fast for you, so you're starting to throw yourself a pity party and feeling like a victim. Don't do that. Because that's exactly when your opportunity might be coming, the moment that you quit. Point number two. Today's topic, once again, is great players get found. Number two, everything that I just said in point number one is not to suggest that you should sit around and wait for the attention to find you. Don't do that. What it means is, when you have game, the more you allow yourself and position yourself to be seen, the more you are increasing the chances that you will win. That's the whole point of you having game and putting yourself out there. You want to give yourself as many chances to be successful as possible. It's just like if you're a salesperson, all right, which salesperson do you think has more chances of making a bunch of sales in a day? The salesperson who makes one call or the salesperson who makes 10? Of course, the one who makes 10 calls because they're giving themselves 10 chances to be successful. Now, who they're calling on matters, but just as a general point, you get what I'm saying here. The more chances you give yourself to win, the higher likelihood you're going to pick up more W's because you're putting yourself out there more and more. What do I say when we talk about confidence? Putting yourself out there boldly and authentically because you want the world to see you and you want to give yourself more chances to be successful. So when you have game, the more you're seen, the more you increase your chances of being successful. The more you're seen plus having game, the better your chances. So if you're being seen and you have no game, then uh, people are seeing you, but they're not interested. If you have game and you're not being seen, well, nobody's seeing you, so that's why you're not getting seen. But when you have a both, you're out there, you're outside, so people know that you exist, and you have game, then people are like, oh, damn, all right, this guy can, whoever this is, I never heard of him before, but you no, know, they can actually you know, do something. We might actually need to be, we might need to take a look at this person. Just like John Morant got discovered, and a few years later, he's in the NBA with a, you know, a big contract, and he's an all-star. In episode number 2259, I talked about how to be outside so you can be seen, heard, and known. If you haven't listened to episode 2259, I would suggest that you do. So just a few weeks ago, we'll listen to that episode so you understand what I'm talking about here. Also in episode number 854, I told you a luck strategy is to be outside more often. 
To give you another example, in 2005, I was an unsigned basketball player who wanted to play professionally. So what I did was, because I believed that I had game, I believed that I had enough game to play pro, yet I did not have the exposure. I had not been seen enough by people who could help me play pro basketball. So I needed to do something to fix that part. I felt like I had the game part. Now I needed to get, I needed to fix the scene part, the visibility part. So what I did was I invested money and time. I want you to notice those two things, money and time from my five forms of investment, time, money, attention, energy, focus. I invested money and time to go to an exposure camp. It was a place where I paid money so I could be seen by the type of people who it mattered that they knew I, that I had games. See, it's one thing when the people back in my neighborhood at the local playground knew I had game, but none of them could make a phone call and get me signed to a contract. So I needed to get seen by some people who could actually do something for my professional career. And many of you need to get that point through your head. See, you, it doesn't matter that your grandma and your aunt think that you're the best in the world at the thing that you do because your grandma and your aunt aren't your customers. You need to get seen by the kind of people who can actually do something to help move your career forward. You need to figure out where those people are at and they usually have places that they gather all at the same time in the same place and you need to make it your business to be in that place. I wrote an article about this and some of you may have gotten it already by the time you hear this, some of you may have not. But I put that money up to go to that exposure camp because that was the only way I was going to have a pro basketball career as far as I knew at that time. And even putting that money up was a stretch for me because I had to pay to the travel I had to pay for, the hotel I had to pay for, the, the camp fee itself, the food while I was there. And I had to take time off from work, the one source of revenue that I had at the time. So it was a financial stress for me to go to that event. But at the same time, I weighed that against, well, this is the only chance I have of making a career that I want happen. Again, weighed against, well, what am I going to do? Stay here and work at you no know, Bally Total Fitness for the rest of my life. So it wasn't a matter of if I was going to go to that exposure camp. It was a matter of how I was going to make it happen. And I was able to make it happen. And this is about decision making. Now, we talked about when you are how to be more decisive in your life because when people get decisive and the opportunities hit that's when we make things happen in our lives i talked about this in episode 246 how to be more decisive and also episode 981 how to act decisively when the time is right in life and sometimes in life you got to bet on yourself and not only bet on yourself but you got to bet on yourself and you got to actually win like i talked about in episode 952 bet on yourself and win not just betting like i talked about in episode 919 but actually winning the bet when you do so so anyway, back to my, my story here. I invested money and time to go to an exposure camp because I believe I had game, but I needed to position myself to get seen, right? So somebody could find me. Then I had to show up where things were happening and I had to perform. I had to do all three. Have game, go where people who can help me are at, and then I had to perform. I had to do all three. You got to get all three of these right. This is the same thing you need to do and whatever it is that you have going on. Just make sure that when you go to the place where things are happening and you show yourself, Make sure you actually have game. All right, so don't be lying to yourself that you have game, then you show up and nobody's interested. Well, maybe your game wasn't as good as you thought it was. This is why I tell you that you need to hire a coach. This is why you need to invest in yourself. I'm, all of these principles all tie together. And as you can see, as I'm tying all these principles together, that's why they matter. I told you this in episode 1120, how to find a great coach for business, sports, and life. Episode 1241, key growth principle is being coachable. Episode number 1762, how to be coachable so you get maximum value from your mentors and coaches. Episode 1912, a framework for being coached. Episode 1968, how to identify if you are uncoachable. Episode number 2243, I told you how I coach people. In episode 2251, I told you why you need a coach. In episode 2270, I gave you more reasons why you need to hire a coach. So I've talked about these things many times. You want to have a coach so you make sure your game is as on point as you think it is. So when you go out into the marketplace and put yourself out there, you get the kind of response that you are expecting to get or at least the response that you want to get. Make sure your game is on point. So if you get seen in a place where things are happening but nothing happens for you, then what you need to look at is your performance. You need to go back to the drawing board. Specifically, your performance relative to what the audience wants, not just what you think, because nobody really cares what you think. It's what the audience wants versus what you gave them. If I give an amazing mindset based speech, for example, at a medical conference, I may have given a great presentation, but that's not what the, the doctors and the audience came there for. They came there to learn more about how to you know, do their medicine. So I'm giving the wrong message to the wrong people. So even though my message might have been great, it was to the wrong audience, I'm not going to get the response that I want. Or if a doctor comes and gives a great medical-based presentation at a personal growth conference, nobody wants to hear it. So they'll boo him off the stage, even though he gave a great presentation for his subject, but it was to the wrong people. So you got to make sure you're giving the right game to the right people at the right time. Point number three, 
Today's topic, once again, is great players get found. Point number three, if you are not being found, it is because your game is not where it needs to be. And I can, I can mean that in two different ways. One, you haven't developed enough game yet. Or two, you are showing your game in a place where people are just not interested in what you're offering. So again, you got to be offering the right things to the right people. Remember what we're in, folks. Let's all say it at the same time. We are in a performance and results based business. If you are being seen, but the results are not coming, let's take a look at your game. All right, what are people not interested in that you're showing? Something that you're doing or not doing that is causing them to not respond. All right, simple as that. Is your game producing the desired results for the marketplace that you are aiming to be found in? Let me say that question again. I'll say it slower. Is your game producing the desired results for the marketplace that you are aiming to be found in? If you cannot answer this question, then that means that you need to get with your coach and you need to do work to make sure you are answering this question in the affirmative. And this should not be a guessing game, everybody. This should not be a guessing game. It should be clear. All right, this is what the audience wants and you can get all this information these days. The great thing about our interconnected world that we live in today, there's some challenges to it, but one of the great things is information is pretty easy to come by because people are just giving it away pretty much virtually for free. So you can find this information. You just need to know which information to look for. All right, that's why you need a coach. So you know what to look for and what questions to ask. Many of you are simply asking the wrong questions and you're getting the right answers to the wrong questions. That's why you're not getting the outcomes you want. It's not because you're not doing the work. So what results do the marketplace want? Does the marketplace want and are you pro providing them? And how do you know? How do you know you're providing the results that the marketplace wants? How do you know that your results are measuring up to what the marketplace is willing to um, what the marketplace is willing to give uh, benefits to? But they're willing to reward. Is it all based on are your answers based on your feelings and opinions about yourself? Or do you have an objective way of measuring it that can prove what you're talking about? And just so you know, objective proof is much more valuable than your personal opinion and feelings. And because again, nobody cares about your personal opinions or your feelings. These are all very important questions that you should answer. Your answers to these questions will help you determine what changes, if any, need to be made to your game. All right, this is what you got to figure out for yourself. And if you, when you make the necessary changes, the marketplace, again, go back to the marketplace, see what the marketplace is saying. But these are all things that any of us can do, and this can all be measured, and we can be very accurate and logical and rational about this. This shouldn't be a guessing game on any level. All that said, let's recap today's class, which says great players get found. This master class is based on, again, my background in the sports world, where athletes would say, well, Dre, I feel like I'm good, but I'm not getting seen. I'm not getting recruited, et cetera, et cetera. Here's my answer to that. And this is for everybody, not just athletes. Number one, when you have game, there are people whose job it is to know that you exist. It is their job to find people like you who, is out, who are out there. Their job is to look for you, observe you, and get you where you need to go. Same thing that happened with John Morant. He wasn't out, I don't think he was actively trying to get himself recruited when he did, but he did get recruited because he was out there showing his game and he happened to get seen by somebody who could do something for him. Point number two, it doesn't mean you sit around and wait for attention to find you, which is what a lot of you are doing right now and it's not working. It means when you have game, you need to go get yourself seen as much as possible so you can increase your chances of actually winning. This is why I invested in a basketball exposure camp as an amateur basketball player in 2005 because it was the only way I saw for me to get my game seen by the people who could actually do something for my career. So make sure your game is on point when you finally get that opportunity. And point number three, if you're not being found, is because your game is either not located where it needs to be located, meaning you're not in the places to be seen by the people who matter, or you just don't have enough game. You're being seen by the people who matter, but they're not interested because you're not showing them what they want to see. So is your game producing the desired results? Do you know what those results are? How do you know? Is it based on feelings and opinions, or do you have an objective way of measuring it? Your answers to these questions will help you determine what changes, if any, need to be made to your game. So send me a text so you can get my daily motivation for free every single day straight to your phone. My number is 305-384-6894. And go start my 30 Days of Discipline course right now at workonyourgame.com slash 30. That is a 30 Days of Discipline course. So you can start finishing everything that you start. You can stop leaving things undone and make sure you are following through at a 100% success rate. Again, that's 30 Days of Discipline.com. The course is exactly what it says. Work on your game. No, that's not. Did I say 30 Days of Discipline.com? I said work on your game.com slash 30. Work on your game. Dre, 
av 